Well, we're back here on Pit tonight, and I'd like to bring out Dr. Cyril Wecht one more time to show us how he goes about doing his autopsies. Dr. Wecht. Okay, all right. Well, I figured you guys would select him. I knew that. Uh, well, we have an assistant here. for you, by all right. the way. Hold so on here. one second. I have, a, I have a wardrobe, if you would like. Uh, And you have an assistant, Holly. Can you come out here, please? So, um, yeah. the bodies are uh, brought in. You can you can tell and, I work uh, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. identified, and and then photographs are taken. Right. And then the clothing is uh, removed. Have you had a live patient before? Um, a couple times, they, when the first incision starts, they wake up and, you know. <laughs> what do you, what do you, oh, oh, okay, all right, fine. Um, and then place on the table in this uh, supine position, and uh, you begin then to describe. Um, and <clears throat> start off with uh, things that are abnormal, uh, gunshot wounds, uh, Stab wounds, stickers motor vehicular. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, stickers on nipple is very common. ECG, <laughs> EC, ECG uh, pads. Uh, right. um, uh, people who have been worked on by the EMTs, often you know, a tube coming out of the mouth, a trach uh, tube here, <laughs> ECG pads uh, here, and uh, wires uh, here, right. and so on. And uh, when there's uh, Nice underwear like this, we uh, argue about who's going to get it, and so on. <laughs> and, and, and then, you know, and then we, we're, no, we're, no, we're, we're very fair in, a, in uh, terms of distributing jewelry and money and things like that. Yeah. This watch was $5 from Target, so you can fight um, over that. With your yeah. All right, so um, after all that is done and photographs are made and if it's a uh, case that is something other than a natural death, we'll have a state trooper or a detector from the county. I do right. autopsies for four counties uh, around here in southwestern Pennsylvania, Armstrong, Green, Fayette, and Westmoreland. I did 456 autopsies last year. And by the way, on a serious note, more than 250 of those 456 were drug-related deaths. Um, this is what's going on in America, drug-related deaths. Um, yeah, unbelievable. So I have then, a question for you. Yeah. Uh, so hypothetically, if you, based off of the bodies you've seen, the 20,000 plus bodies you've seen, if you Have I seen better looking bodies than yours? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know the answer to that question is no. <laughs> but my question is, if you were to hypothetically commit a murder, how would you go about doing it so that the coroner, whoever is examining it, examining it would not be able to tell what the cause of death was? Listen, fun is fun and my free time is my free time, but now you're in some heavy shit private consultations, baby. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, get, get the phone number in the book and, you I know, will, give, me, give me a call. I'll give you okay. a call. Yeah. All right. So, um, the first incision, I have an autopsy technician who works with me. The first incision, and I won't really, uh, I won't do this yeah. because um, we needed somebody bald like me, um, make an incision from behind one ear around the top of the scalp to behind the other ear. Oh, delightful. Through the scalp. Then you reflect the front part of the scalp forward and the back part rearward. And now you have exposed the top Pretty much of everything. The I mean, that's... Cranium. Yeah. Um, well, on you, before we get inside, that's pretty much everything, I guess, in the brain, right? <laughs> uh, but anyway, all right, then, then you take an electric saw, and you saw off the calvarium. That's the name of the top of the skull, calvarium. And we circular, uh, and you remove that skull cap, and now you have access to the brain, its coverings, the 12 cranial nerves that come off the brain, and so on. You take the brain out then and you examine it. Okay. So that's the first incision. I always start with the head first. So uh, <clears throat> bi-temporal scalp, 
and then remove the calvarium by means of an electric saw, take out the brain. The next incision, and this one I can mark you up a little bit. Okay. Um, we start off here in front of the shoulder, and this is called the Y-shaped thoraco-abdominal incision because it's Y-shaped, like this. So I noticed you picked the red marker. Uh, is there any reason? Oh, oh. Okay, I, so now... I can feel that. You can feel that, okay. Um, now, cut through the skin and the subcutaneous tissue and you lift this portion up and these two portions back, dissecting underneath, and then you have the sternum, the breastbone here. Right. Once you remove the sternum with an electric saw, cutters... J just now, to emphasize, Yes, electric. yeah. Then you have access to the lungs and the heart <clears throat> and nerves and vessels up here in the chest, and then you have the abdominal cavity down into the pelvis, and you have liver, stomach, intestines, pancreas, kidneys, adrenal glands, urinary bladder, prostate, oh. and, and some people have testes too. I don't know what you. Um, 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 and um, so we look at it, and then you take pictures if there's something abnormal, and so on, and then um, we remove the organs one by one and you weigh them, you measure them, you describe them, color, texture, consistency, and so on, and larger organs you uh, section uh, and, and examine them right. in different ways. Um, and and you, you take, the you take, then you take small pieces and you keep them in right. formalin. Formalin is a fixative solution in a hospital. When a surgeon takes out an appendix or a gallbladder or a lung, he puts it in formalin, sends it down to the lab. Formalin is a fixative solution. And we keep small pieces in formalin to make slides, microscopic slides that will be prepared and given back to us to study. And the rest of the organs go back into a, a large uh, bag placed inside the cavity. The body is sewn up and, and given to the funeral director or the deputy coroner. You get the Wonderful. idea? I do. Thank you so much, yeah. Dr. Okay. Wright. Right. One more time, Dr. Phil Wright. <laughs>